Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Boisvert. Hi, and I am Dr. Nerissa Hall. Thank you for your interest in our paper titled, The Use of Telehealth and Early Autism Training for Parents, a Scoping Review. In this paper, we present a review of the literature on how telehealth has been implemented to provide support to parents who have a child diagnosed with autism. The ability to provide these types of services comes at an opportune time as the rate of autism is on the rise. This increase places a major demand on families worldwide to secure behavioral, educational, and family services. While the nature of autism is heterogeneous, a wide body of literature suggests that access to early intervention is highly successful when provided by trained personnel at the time of diagnosis. The collaboration of specialists and families creates unique opportunities to maximize treatment outcomes for young children with autism. However, there is a critical shortage of highly qualified personnel to work with families. Given this issue, specialists and researchers alike turn to technology as a method to extend clinical services and provide much needed support to families. In our review, we found that telehealth was successfully used by speech language pathologists and university researchers to provide training on specific intervention approaches. With respect to the communication skills that children demonstrated following the telehealth training their parents received, the investigations report reported an overall increase in the number of times each child initiated communication, responded to adult initiated directions, produced functional utterances, and participated in joint attention tasks. The researchers also reported a high level of parental satisfaction with the use of telepractice to deliver training and support by specialists. The studies also identified additional advantages along with disadvantages with respect to the telehealth services which are discussed in our review. The outcomes of this review suggest that telehealth is an effective way to train parents of young children with autism. This form of service delivery, when strategically implemented, has the potential to enhance the quality of services available to parents and care caregivers who may be located in geographically remote areas, have scheduling conflicts, and or require additional material and resources. Given the advancements in technology and the growing need for early intervention services, it is anticipated that telehealth methodologies will become a mainstream form of service delivery in the future, which will make autism-specific services more readily available without compromising the quality of care delivered to families. Thank you very much for listening to this summary and for your interest in this literature review.